Well, it's actually, no, no, one of the things that actually is there a world expert of music in Southeast Asia, but I think there is. Um, and to some extent, we have to therefore try and build that expertise together um, because that's going to be the way to sort of take things forward. And of course, what one ends up, if one even gives thought to the diversity of music in Southeast Asia, um, one realizes it's an extraordinarily rich um, buffet. Um, so, um, I, I'm sorry, I going back to it. And that um, we also worked with uh, Matadon to get, um, uh, to work forward towards some funding, and it's been great that, uh, that Matadon with Joe and, and with Dr. Sugri um, have been able to secure some funding for us to work this board for the next five years. Um, and working this board is not just an annual congress, it's also to try and work things that are interactions during the year. Um, one of the reasons for working with Thailand while um, coming from Singapore was it's incredibly important to have multinational involvement in this sort of enterprise. So if the office is set up in Thailand, it's useful that it's endorsed by a group of people who are not from Thailand, even if, even if the group is, 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 is organized and registered in Thailand and so on. So one of the things we're proposing, proposing this afternoon is that we need some transnational um, representation in terms of the senior structure and so on. Um, but it's been incredibly useful just to be able to work with a small number of organizations to take this forward. And it's been extremely, um, I mean, we're very, very grateful um, to, to Dr. Hong for, um, for agreeing to be supportive of this, this venture here and getting us all together on such short notice and so on. So the three schools currently working together has actually helped take things forward quite rapidly. Um, the next one. Okay. Um, when I was doing this presentation in Mahadon, it sort of occurred to me, let's look at some of the challenges of the regions because the challenges also do provide opportunities. Um, just before we rip through them all, um, look, let's look at these in some detail, I think, because of course, You've got really diverse expectations, you've got very diverse repertoire, you've got very diverse um, pedagogies, philosophies, instruments, technologies. So already in your first sentence, you've got about six or seven major challenges. And we're all dealing with them at an individual institutional basis on a fairly regular basis. But we need to just work out how diverse that is. Even in places like the United States with NASM or NATMOS, in Australia or AEC in, um, in Europe, European Association of Conservatories, there's nothing like the range that you see uh, up there. So they can, be, they can be getting very obsessed about little details of differences in curriculum and so on. Whereas if you even just list the number of instruments, which is something we really should do in the next um, 12 months, the number of instruments in Southeast Asia, um, that are being taught from saxophone to whatever, I mean, <laughs> trying to uh, who, whatever. Um, there's an incredible range of, of activity going on. And of course, you've got some places that are private, you've got some that are post 16, some are publicly funded, some are in universities, some are at institutes of education. So um, trying to embrace all of that is, is a challenge, but at the same time, what they all share is a love and passion for music, whatever music is. Um, so it's about actually remembering that although there's all that diversity, there is a common passion. Um, and of course, the same thing when it comes to, uh, um, you know, the risk is that a doctorate program is somehow seen as more important than a um, than a um, apprenticeship program. But actually, historically, the way to learn an instrument may have been through an apprenticeship program. So um, although doctorate programs have become increasingly uh, valued because of the hierarchy of qualification, it doesn't necessarily mean it's the only route forward. And in the end, ironically, what is a doctorate but an apprenticeship program? So um, there are some interesting um, sort of challenges in the, in the system. Um, of course, a lot of the schools have been set up particularly where um, composition and improvisation maybe have been um, less um, focused upon the, the instrumental training, for example. Yet without composition and improvisation, there probably wouldn't be very much music. So
So it's about how to get reconsider some of these um, these prioritizations. Um, and also that how do you actually get people to know what they're doing with particular repertoire or particular approaches? Um, what what extra skills, backgrounds, and so on do they have to do, and how diverse are those things? Um, the whole thing about professionalization, I mean, one of the risks that's happened certainly in Europe is you've had an additive curriculum. So basically, over the years, more and more gets done into the curriculum to the point where students have no time to practice anymore. Um, and that's a real risk with this. The profession, how you enter a complex profession obviously needs some, some development, but actually with technologies changing, with all sorts of things, moving. Um, there are many ways of doing this much more efficiently than the old paradigm of teaching whereby the, the, the master, usually was a master, um, hands across to the, um, to the apprentice um, the knowledge base that they acquired over the last 30 years. Well obviously in the 21st century we've got other ways of doing this uh, as well as while still respecting the value of the, um, of the leader supporting the student. Um, and then, of course, the other thing is how important, in some countries, music is valued extremely um, because of its general human um, uh, values. Um, and, and, you know, it's wonderful in some countries that music is such an intense part of the curriculum, for not just for people who want to be musicians, but actually for everybody. Um, and we, the risk is we get more interested in the people who become increasingly specialists. And I say that as somebody who's running a very specialized organization, when actually, of course, we need also to be embracing the, the, the value of music to all society. Mm -hmm. um, 